Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I'm so glad that you are here with me on today. And I am so glad it is the end of the week. It has been a long one, <laughs> but it's the end of another productive week. I just wanted to let you know this. You know, I was sitting here, I was praying, and, and God said, you know what, Shonda? They knew that it was best for them to leave you alone. I just want to say it to you too, that they knew that it was best for them to leave you alone. Sometimes we don't understand why we may get rejected. Sometimes we don't even understand what we did to, accept, to uh, experience the treatment that we've experienced. Sometimes we just don't know and we have to leave all of those question marks in the hands of God. But one thing God did reveal to me is every person that you may have experienced, that you may have talked to, that you may have dealt with on a personal level, whether it was just romantic or just platonic, I want you to understand this, that they knew that it was best for them to go ahead on and leave you alone. People know who they can mess with. They know who they can mess with. It's not because sometimes we're even awakened enough to know that we're powerful, that we're strong and mighty, and that we're all these great things. Sometimes we just don't even know that yet. But it's people that will leave you completely alone because of the residue of God on your soul. See, spiritually, people already know who you belong to. You don't have to say a word. They know because their spirit is able to identify you. They know that if they touch you, if they come at you the wrong way, then they will possibly lose it all. Have you ever wondered why? Sometimes people will never, ever give you the time of day. And it's not because you're not attractive. It's not because you're not smart. It's not because you're not a good person. It's not because you're weird. The reason why they don't is because they know they can't mess over you. They know they can't mess over you, mistreat you, and really do the things that they will do to the person next to you. Because depending on what you have gone through in your life, God has taken his time to develop you. And I want you to understand that sometimes some clowns know that they can't come to you with the same thing that they do to somebody opposite of you. They know that they can get away with mistreating that person, that man or that woman. They know they can get away with cheating on that man or that woman. They know they can get away with devaluing, talking down to, and making that man or that woman feel that they have to earn their love. They know that they can get away with a lot of stuff that they can never get away with messing around with you. Because I want you to understand that even the devil can identify God on the inside of his children. Even the devil knows sometimes that if he come towards you, he risks losing it all. Even the devil understands, baby, if he put a word on you and it ain't the right one, even the devil can identify that he will be utterly destroyed. He will be ruined. He will be embarrassed. He will be exposed before people if he mess with you. So I want you to think about that today. I want you to think about a time that somebody just didn't even give you the time of day. I want you to think about a time when you were so kind to people and so generous to people and they just didn't like you. I want you to think about a time that you really was trying to be a good person, but all they could ever see is the bad in you. I want you to think about the times that you were left out, walked over, looked over, and some of everything else. I want you to think about all of the times that something could have happened in your life, but somehow it didn't. I want you to think about the times that you could have hooked up with somebody, but somehow you didn't. I want you to think about the times that you could have got in that car and somehow you didn't. I want you to think about the times that you could have went on and took that job, but somehow you didn't take it. And I want you to understand because the devil knows that when it comes to y'all, 
he understands that it's best for him just to go on. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace, because I still be believing in you. Bye now.